Okay, so this is going to be part two in the video tutorial series on how to create the um, simple multiplayer networking uh, game by using Node.js. Um, so in this video, uh, we're going to be creating all the um, prefabs and setting up the scene and um, setting up kind of all the things that you need for the Unity project without kind of getting involved in the, uh, the networking yet. Um, so if you've already done the um, multiplayer networking example uh, from Unity, you'll have a lot of the same stuff. Um, you'll probably have to take some stuff out because um, we're not going to be using Unity's networking. So you're, you're going to have to remove some components um, that are networking related um, to kind of get to the same point I'm at. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new project. Uh, I called mine Simple Multiplayer Node.js. Um, and 3D project, just an empty project. Um, so you're going to have something similar to this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, save my scene first. So I'll call it main. And Okay, so we have a main scene over here. I'm going to create some folders. So I'm going to have a materials folder, uh, scenes folder. <clears throat> Let's see if I can, there we go. Uh, prefabs folder and scripts. And I think we're good. So I'm going to create some materials. So create material um, black. Um, brown. And I'll do one for the default too. Uh, white. Um, so we've got our materials, and I gotta go in the inspector and um, apply the same colors. So I'm gonna remove the smoothness as well. And this one's kind of hard to uh, create, so I just do the. Uh, Swatch there. Um, okay, and this one is pretty much fine. So there we go. We have three different colors going on. All right. So next thing is I'm gonna create some game objects to start making my prefabs. Actually. Yeah, that's probably, I'll, I'll move this over here. We're just gonna have one scene. Uh, okay. Then. I'm just gonna create a uh, plane over here. Uh, so what do I want the plane to be? I want it to be a little bit bigger. I'll do 20 by 20 by 20. Uh, the Y doesn't matter. I can just do one for that because it's a plane. Um, I'm going to put brown color on it so it looks like dirt. Um, there we go. And that's pretty much it for that game object. I guess I can make this a prefab. Let's call it, rename it like ground or something. Put that over here. I guess, I guess we can start making the player. So I'm gonna call this player.
Oh, there was actually one one other thing I wanted to do. Since the player is going to be at origin, um, I'm going to have to drop the uh, ground down a little bit. So I think on the Y I want to do negative one. But I'm going to do that and apply it. Save the scene. Okay, so for player, like in the um, Unity tutorial, we're going to be making it pretty primitive. So um, actually, so I'm just going to redo this and create it from the uh, I think it was the capsule. Yeah, looks looks right to me. So I'll name that player, and we'll just leave the defaults. I'm just trying to see if there was anything. I'm gonna. I guess I can create the scripts right now. We'll just create empty scripts, and then we'll modify them later. So we want the script to move the player. I'll call that that. And you can just no, it's new script. Oh. go so at this point um, we don't uh, have anything in it but we'll, we'll come back to that in a bit I'm just trying to set the stage so next we'll do health Just gonna kind of this is kind of in the way. I'm just gonna minimize that so we can see our scripts. And that was pretty much it. Let's add the uh, divisor. So the divisor was a cube, I believe. So. We'll rename it to visor, put the black color on it, and then you're going to have to change the uh, um, scale on it. So this was 0 0.95, 0 0.25, and 0.5. I think, does that look right? I think that's right. Okay. Well, let's move the camera a little bit so we can. I think I'll move the position. There's 0 0.5, 0 0.24. Okay, so he was facing that way. That looks right to me. Um, let's see if there's anything else I was missing. No, it's pretty much just a part of the player. So let's make the gun next. So the gun was a cylinder. So I'll create a cylinder over here. Rename it to gun, and let's do all that stuff. So X was 90. I should just leave it like this so it's a really big gun. OK, 
J.S. Morgan. Put the black material on it. And that's it for the gun. Uh, need to do the bullet spawn next. Hold on a sec. I'm just going to double check on that. So the bullet spawn was just an empty game object. Spawn point. Call a bullet spawn. And it'll be at the end of the barrel. So that's why we're doing one there. And just leave everything as is. So that's where the bullet's going to be created. <clears throat> Next was the uh, the canvas. So let's see. I'm going to... I think I'm just going to create a... Let's see. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Okay, so yeah, I'll just create it under the player. So um, create UI canvas. That way the uh, event system will be top level and the canvas will have its transform position the player um, we're gonna have to change some things here so first thing is I'll rename it to health bar canvas and so we're gonna do world space um, that's fine I'm trying to see if there's Anything down here that needed to be changed? No, that's pretty much it. So let's go to the top and change all this stuff to reset. So it's at origin. And then we're going to make it a little bit above the player's head there. And that's fine. And I think I can leave anchors as is if it's fine scale is going to be a little bit different so we're going to make it a lot smaller since it's in world space all right so that's it for the health bar canvas um, let's create a uh, I think this was just a uh, <clears throat> scroll bar. <clears throat> Let's create the player name first. Um, that that's one thing that you'll need to add because um, I added that. So it's a text, and uh, we call it player name. I'm going to rotate it 180 because the camera is facing that way. Otherwise, it, it's inverted. Player name. OK. Uh, wrap yeah all, the, all that stuff's fine so you can see over here it says player name above the player now and that'll be changed accordingly uh, when the you know player joins 
inners, what do you want us to be called? Um, I, I think that's a, I think we'll probably have to pause here. I, I can only do 15 minutes at a time and then in the next one we'll, we'll finish, you know, making these prefabs and stuff. Um, all right. Thanks.